What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get GBA for iOS on iOS 12. So this is going to allow you to play Game Boy Advanced and Game Boy Color games on your device that's running iOS 12. This is seriously awesome. Um, I'm a big fan of the old retro games, so I think that's really cool that we have the ability to play it on the newest firmware. And it's really quite simple how to install it and how to play it. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this. The first thing you guys are going to want is Tweakbox. That's where we're going to download GBA for iOS. If you guys need to see how to get Tweakbox, I'll leave the video link for that tutorial in the description. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump into Tweakbox here. And like I said, this is where we are going to download GBA for iOS, the application itself. So we'll let the uh, advertisement go away there. We'll go into the apps section, go into the tweaked apps section, and then just scroll down until you see GBA for iOS. And it is right there. Just go ahead and click on it. Go ahead and click on install. You'll get a little pop up. Click on install again, and it will start downloading onto our device. As you guys can see, it's downloading right there. We'll wait a second for it to finish. There it goes. Uh, now, in, in order to open the application, we will have to trust it. To do that, just go into the settings application, scroll down until you see general, scroll down again until you see profiles and device management, and go ahead and trust GBA for iOS, just like so. It's totally safe to trust. Now we will have the ability to launch the app. Once you open this application though, you will notice you do not have any games to play. So in order to get games, we'll go ahead and jump into Safari and I'll leave this link in the description. It's ROMs uh, Mania, as you guys can see, and we'll just swipe down. And at the very top, you can see there is Game Boy Advance games, popular consoles. We'll just go ahead and click on that. And then we will just go ahead and do the first one at the top there, which is Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Fire Red version. We'll click on there. Let it load up and scroll down until you see the uh, green download button. Go ahead and click on download. And now this part does take a second, so just give it a minute to load, and I'll be back once it's done loading. Alrighty, so that did take about 30 seconds for it to actually load up. So keep in mind, guys, that does take a minute. I'm not sure if it's the website or what it is, but it does take uh, a good 30 seconds for it to load. And as you guys can see, here is the zip file, and you can see you have the option to open in GBA for iOS. So just go ahead and click on open. As you guys can see, it jumps you back to GBA, GBA for iOS. We'll close out of that advertisement. And then we do have the option to play the game. And it's really quite surprising how well uh, this emulator works. It's really quite fun. As you guys can see, you have your controller. There's a lot of settings within GBA for iOS that allow you to change skins and a bunch of other options. It's really quite cool how it's set up. Let's go ahead and click through it. And uh, it is 100% playable. As you guys can probably tell, the audio sounds good. We'll go ahead and just start it up and I'll show you guys that it is functional. And we'll just quickly click through all of the beginning part here of Pokemon. I'm not going to go through the whole beginning here because it will take a while. For those of you that are familiar with Pokemon, there is quite a bit here that you have to get through in order to play the game. But it does work. It works really well. Uh, I'm surprised by it. So. Again, guys, that's how you're going to get GBA for iOS on iOS 12. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.